Hello everyone and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Crow, six scale figure by Sideshow. We start with a look at the exterior of the box. We have Eric Draven in figure form right there in the front, surrounded by the broken window of his apartment, glass shards flying all around with different reference styles of the way the figure looks. On the back of the box, we're gonna have him with his long trench coat and the crow in flight on a rainy street. This is a shoebox design. When we lift that off, inside we're going to have our figure. A cigar band that says the crow is going to hold our top and lower tray together. Right now, let's take a look at how those trays are laid out. The top tray features our Eric Draven figure, shotgun, sword, revolver, and pistol, and the crow. The lower is gonna have the display base, a leather-like guitar strap, the guitar, and multiple swap-out hands. Right now, let's take everything out of the tray so we can get a better look. Here we have our figure. His pistol, revolver, shotgun, and sword, his ever-present crow, swap-out hands, and the exclusive guitar. Now let's swoop on in and take a close look at this figure. Out of the box, the figure is going to be wearing his long leather coat. Now, this is made of a leather-like material. It features the large lapels, as well as many areas of damage to the jacket on his right arm. On the back features rips as well as bullet holes. The belt is drawn on the back of the jacket tightly and stitched together to create a perfect look. Six small buttons adorn the front of the jacket and the inner lining of the jacket is done in a dark black silk. The lower hem of the jacket features a wire to allow for posing. With the jacket removed from the figure, we can see a bit more of the detail. We'll start at the head and that iconic look of that face paint. It's gonna have the flesh tone covered by that white makeup and that very iconic look. The hair itself has waves and strands, but has a hint of that wet look from the rain so prominently featured in the film. The outfit of the figure is done in multiple fabrics. The upper part of the shirt is in a cotton spandex style with multiple damage points on the front as well as the back. Around his neck is going to be that all-important engagement ring that he wears. The lower part of the shirt has a rubberized coating over it, given the bandage style look to it, and then the cord across the midsection. Down onto the forearms, he also again has that rubberized element that leads down into the wraps over the hands. The pants are done in a leather-like look and finely tailored. There are four brass buttons on the front of them as well as two front pockets. Down on the right knee, again, that cord-like repair look to them. The pants tuck and taper down into the boot. The boot is fully sculpted. The tongue flopped over the laces, partially laced up, giving it a more open look. The eyelets are all individually painted, as well as a lot of wear and weathering done on the boot itself. Now let's go over the articulation of our figure. We start our look at articulation at the head. We have a ball joint that allows us plenty of turn, tilt, and lean. The arms will ratchet out to the side, they can extend fully forward as well as back. A butterfly joint at the shoulder allows us to move the arm forward and backward. The elbow is double jointed. A cut bicep allows us to swivel the arm inside and out. And we have a standard wrist peg that allows us for plenty of rotation and lean and tilt. With the arms raised to the side, we're able to take a look at the torso. We can turn the figure right to left, lean side to side, as well as crunch forward, and extend back. The hips allow the leg to move out to the side. The leg can rotate left to right, forward, 
a double jointed knee, and a rollerball style on the ankle allows us to lift and lower, turn side to side, and rock the foot side to side as well. The Crow figure also has hands for holding both of the guns, as well as gripping hands for his other weapons and guitar, two different versions, and a hand with a fresh bullet hole and wearing his pinky ring. The weapons for the figure include his sword, where the handle is sculpted and painted to look like actual fabric. The shotgun does feature a sliding and articulated handle, his pistol, and on the revolver, the cylinder will actually open and close. The exclusive also features the guitar with real metal strings, a working whammy bar, and a leather-like strap that attaches to the two points on the guitar that also has the detailed back. The figure also comes with his crow with detailed feathers and the wings folded back, an open mouth, and those deep red eyes. The stand is a traditional stand with hexagonal base with the Crow written on the bottom. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Crow six scale figure by Sideshow. For more information about this figure, follow the link below and make sure to check out the flexible payment plan options that Sideshow offers. Tune in to Unsealed or Revealed for more six scale posing fun. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your Geek Side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen, and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your Geek Side show.